Right, John, thank you very much for giving us a bit of your time, man. Really appreciate, it. obviously, busy, busy time for you guys. Well, where do we start? As we speak, 18 appearances this season you've made for Man City in all competitions, and the team have only conceded two goals in that time. How has this defence transformed? I think there's a bit of um, a bit of a click. The lads that have that have played, they've clicked, and and obviously Ruben's come in, made a massive impact from a personal standpoint. Um, I think it's just an accumulation of things, boys, boys stepping up, and and um, there's a there's a feeling about the place of uh, for us as defenders that we we want to keep clean sheets, we want to um, help the team as much as we can, and I keep saying in interviews to the boys, um, it's a it's a platform for us, it's a the basic platform for us to go on and, and win a game, keeping that clean sheet and. And a sense of pride, and you know it yourself. Um, I remember we spoke about it that that in the big games, the vital, vital things to get clean sheets, and and it's kind of just stemmed from there. And um, you know, hopefully, they just keep coming. So you, just just take it back a little bit to you personally. What what's actually changed for you personally? Because listen, the last two years, I can imagine have been a nightmare for you personally. Uh, either it's been injuries or a loss of form. How have you dealt with that from a mental perspective? I've said it a few times now. I've just gone back to back to basics. I had to look at myself, look at myself in the mirror, and and see what I could do better, and in, in, in every aspect of my game, and um, literally down to off the pitch as well. What gym work I'm doing, what I can do to recover quicker, uh, what foods I can eat better, and now when I'm out on the pitch, giving it everything uh, every single day to. You know, improve as a as a player and a person, but to um, you know, prove to everyone that that I'm still here to fight, fight for my spot, fight for my shirt, and and um, for my teammates when I'm out on the pitch. It's um, put a different perspective on 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 the game for me. You know, being sat in the stands watching the lads and in big games, maybe sometimes we've we've not got over the line, and in the Champions League at the um, end of last season. You take it for granted when you when you're playing and playing in big games, and you know I, obviously I've been on the other side of that over these last two years. So, you know that sense of pride and sense of um, leaving everything out on the pitch as well. But I think it's progression in yourself. You know you put in the work and you put in all that hard work on the training pitch. You're you're going to improve, and it's just about well I I, I took the standpoint of you know believing in myself and and keeping keep fighting for my, for for my shirt. And listen, Pep Guardiola, who I admire massively, um, your manager, he's spoken about his delight of your return to form um, this season. Can you describe to me the impact that he's had on your career so far in the five years you've both been at the club? When I, when I first came in, or, or, or players, when you're at a young age, you think you know football and um, the basics of, of formations and things like that. But when... when um, you know, when I signed here and came under Pep, it was it was like I was a little kid again playing in playing in the park. It's yeah, it took me to a different level of of understanding the game, understanding um, roles and responsibilities, and and how he's simplified the game. I think at times, you know, when we play and it's extravagant, we're playing out from the back and everything looks really nice and it looks hard. Everyone's taking one and two touches setting the ball in, in areas where maybe in the past you'd turn and turn into a brick wall. Um, mm. Things like that that are just so simple but but maybe hard to get across to players. He does that so well and, and simplifies and makes you um, be able to play maybe with your eyes closed because you know where everyone's going to be. You know, And that's something that we, we work on in training where Everyone's in a position. Everyone's holding down a position, so you can um, make your patterns of play. And yeah, it's it's great to be a part of. He's it's took my game to another level, as I said, of football knowledge in in, in itself. Understanding where to be um, out on the pitch, be better in possession, where to pick up the ball, how I can break down lines. Now, I think the list goes on, Rio. But um, mm. yeah, the, what I, about what about from a defensive point of view? I know on the ball everything is great with you guys, yeah. but from a defensive point of view, what are the different nuances that he's probably taught you that you you hadn't been taught maybe before? Um, I think how, how we squeeze the pitch, how we um, 
keep such a high line. You know, we squeeze the pitch, the ball goes back, we, we squeeze two or three metres if it's, you know, it, it sounds so small, but it's, it makes a massive effect, a knock-on effect for the, for the midfield, for the strikers. It closes the gaps, you know, in between the lines and, and it kind of forces the other team long. It, it gives them less space to play in. You know, those... Was you completely comfortable with that straight away because of the space behind? I used yeah. to always think the space, big space, man. I don't want that big yeah, space. Yeah, I remember. There. I remember. Now, um, I mean, the keeper plays higher now, you know, if the ball goes over the top. But I think I think if you watch our, our body position as we're squeezing, it's, it's always on the, on, um, you know, on the side, so we're, we're ready to go both ways. Um, yeah. You know, those sort of little details that help so, so much. You know, squeezing on on the side if and and having the intention of going back when mm. when you know whoever's on the ball if it would be a centre half, um, you know, watching his body movements and I think a big one for us is if um, we we get broke down or we get played through, you know, it, it happens. Is how we can slow down their attack as much as possible and wait for the other for the other lads to to come back and regroup. Mm. Simple things again, but so effective. Let me just move on to the Champions League. And I mean, that's one trophy that's eluded Manchester City and yourself. Um, does that then become an obsession? Does it become something that, that the pressure increases as time goes by? You don't get your hands on it. Yeah, definitely. Definitely a pressure aspect from it for, for a few years. And especially while I've been here, pressure from ourselves, which um, can sometimes work both ways, I think. Um, We've always done so well in in early stages, and it's just getting past that next bit. And we put our, we put in put in our sights this season definitely that we we need to push for it. We we need it as a club. We need it as players. We we set standards over the year, these past three four years that the other teams haven't. And um, I think it's the next stage for us to to go to get that bit of silverware in 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 the trophy cabinet. And that's something mm. so difficult to do. Um, we can sit here and talk about it all day. Obviously, you've won it yourself and know how how much it takes to you just even get to a final. So, for us, it's 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 a massive, be a massive achievement and something that we are definitely putting pressure on ourselves to to achieve. Yeah. Last question, John. I can't do an interview with a Man City player uh, currently without asking how good is Phil Foden, and in terms of the young players you've played with in your career, where does he rank? I think he's he's got to be up there. Um, I think I think it was maybe two weeks ago. Um, you know, I, I, I didn't travel to the the game, and I'm watching on the TV, and Phil's just gliding past people. <laughs> he does it in training, but when you see it from a different angle on, on the TV, it's he's something special. Such a humble kid, works hard every day, and and, he, and his ability is coming out more and more. I think more more time he's getting out on the pitch. The more he's expressing himself, he's scoring big goals at such a young age. That's such a an attribute to have, and he's come on so much as, as well in in the past two years. I think uh, physically, uh, understanding the game, and for such a young lad to have um, have done so much already and, and have have the ability that he that he has, I think it'll only go one way. And, and I know you're a big fan as well. Yeah. Well, listen, man, I really appreciate your time. I think oh, we got to go. I'll let you get on with what you've got to do, your recovery, etc. Thank you, man. John, good luck with the form. Good luck with the team. Thank you. Enjoy. Thanks, Rio.